All right, so today we're gonna to be checking out two different keyboards. We're actually gonna be comparing them to, and we're just gonna kinda of see which one is better and which one I prefer. And uh, then you can make a decision for yourselves if this is something that you want to pursue. So today, the two keyboards that we are going to be checking out is gonna be the Keychron K10 Pro, and the other one that we're gonna be checking out is the Nufi 96. Now, the reason why we're comparing these two is because they're pretty similar for a variety of reasons, and they're both kind of really considered the full-size uh, beginner budget keyboard. Uh, these are both pre-built. They both come with wireless capability and uh, they both come with a variety of switch options and the ability to switch out the switches and keycaps yourself. Now the Keychron K10 Pro starts at about $99 and the Nufi 96 starts at $139. Now there's a little bit of a price discrepancy in there since the Nufi is about $40 more. We'll kind of get into that a little bit later on in this video. So the first thing really just to uh, take a look at is just opening these up and I'm gonna open up the Keychron first. Now the thing about the Keychron that is just very similar across their entire lineup is that the Keychron is a very streamlined design and this includes their packaging. The packaging is very basic, it's just their black box with you know a visual of the keyboard on top. But what's nice about it is that the you know when as soon as you open up you get the keyboard as well as you get some extra keycaps, you get a key switch puller and a keycaps puller and you also get a nice little like screwdriver with some extra screws so that's pretty nice because they definitely want people to uh, get into the modding part of this hobby and this is a great way to do that so you don't really need your own tools to kind of do this you have everything here with you with the Nufi 96 I personally really like this packaging a lot more there's just more to it it looks more fun it's really inviting it really kind of gets you into that hobby and once you open it up, you have the keyboard, it's all pre-built, as I said earlier, but the thing I really like about the Nufi is just that their packaging is just incredib incredibly welcoming and just incredibly nice. Like there's just, everything's covered, everything's nice and laid out for you. You even have a nice little manual. It's not just a flimsy piece of paper like it is in the Keychron. You get some stickers with like your keyboard waifu or whatever it is. And, uh, and yeah, and then the best part of the keyboard kit is that you get this accessory box. Now this comes with a switch tester, which is very, very rare, especially for a pre-built budget keyboard company. You get some extra keycaps, you get a switch and keycaps puller, and of course you get the cable. So already I'm really, really enjoying the Nufi way more. Now the switches that the Keychron came with are the Keychron Banana. These are a very light tactile switch. They're really, really nice actually. They come factory lubed. And I think Keychron has done a pretty good job here. The Nufi, on the other hand, you can spec these with a variety of different switches. Now they're all basically made from Gatoron. So you kind of know you're getting some quality. But what I really like about it is that while they do offer like uh, Gatoron reds, blues, and browns, which are pretty standard in the industry. You do also get the option of specking the Keychron Baby Kangaroos and the Keychron, uh, I'm sorry, not the Keychron, the Gatoron Baby Kangaroos and the Gatoron Baby Raccoons. Now these are the tactile and the linear switch uh, respectively. And today we decided to go with their Baby Kangaroos, which I was really, really excited about because these are a relatively expensive switch, especially if you buy these yourselves. And the fact that this comes with it, I think is really, really awesome. They're a little bit heavier than the Keychron Bananas, but I like them because they have a really, really nice defined tactile bump at the top. And they're just they're, they're just a really, really well-built switch. Uh, really, really nice. I like them a lot. So like with everything, since these are stock and these are full built, we're going to go ahead and just see what these sound like.
So I don't really like the Keychron sound. I think it's uh, it's really clacky, but not really in that good way. It's just, and, and the switch performance, I find really, really lax, specifically where the space bar is concerned. I find the space bar is just really, really clacky. There's just really, it's just not tuned very well. And so this is probably the most disappointing part of the kit, personally, for me. For the new fee, on the other hand, I actually really, really like how it sounds. I think out of the box, this is probably one of the best sounding pre-built budget keyboards that you can buy. Uh, the Baby Kangaroo sound really, really nice. The the keycaps sound really, really nice. And the, the stabilizers are very, very well tuned. As you can tell, that the space bar there, it sounded really, really nice. Now, granted, Nufi has spent extra time in making sure their stabilizers and spacebar uh, sound really good. You can actually check that out on their website. They talk about how that's a, been the focus of theirs, and it really shows, and I think that's really, really important. And I think this is kind of where that price discrepancy comes into play. Uh, there's just more attention given to the overall like build quality of the keyboard. And then, of course, you get the more expensive Gator on baby kangaroos, which is really, really nice. Now, as far as the, as the builds going today for the Keychron, we're going to be switching out the switches. We're not going to be using the Keychron bananas. We're going to be switching these out for the Gator on yellows. Pretty standard linear switch, a little bit, a little bit heftier than the Keychron bananas, but overall a very solid, good switch. Lube very well from the factory. You guys know what you're getting yourselves into. And then for the keycaps, we're going to be using this PBT set that we found on Etsy. These are a pretty cool set. They're side um, side printed with a pass through for the LEDs, which is really, really nice. The Keychron does have south facing LEDs, so this really helps with the shine through and it'll look really, really good when we're done. As far as the Nufi goes, we are going to be sticking with the same switches. We like the baby kangaroos. And we're really not going to be doing much else. We're just going to be switching out the keycaps. Now, the keycaps that I found for these are were from Etsy as well, but these are really cool retro, uh, retro switch, uh, retro keycap. Uh, you can see there's like a little Mario symbol and like the Mario mushrooms as well as the Pac-Man ghosts. I th I think it's just a really really cool keycap set. I know my friend's going to love it because he's really into the retro gaming and all that stuff. So we're going we're going with that for this. Now with the Keychron. Again, we kind of talked about the the switches on the, or sorry, the state. We talked about the stabilizers on the Keychron and how they weren't tuned very well. So that was the very big concern when it came to building out this keyboard. And I realized that I was going to have to kind of modify it myself. Now with the Keychron itself, and this is something just within all of their boards, is that they just have this really nice streamlined design where you can just. It's just eight screws on the back and the top comes right off and the board pops right out and it's just it's really really nice right it's you can definitely tell that this company is very very focused on the modification part of this hobby and and yeah and then on the underside we have their classic rubber it's not even foam it's just like a rubber like case rubber and this is kind of what gives each keychron its own signature sound to be perfectly honest i find all keychrons to basically sound the same regardless of whether or not we're going with a, a pro series or not and uh yeah that's basically all it is now i really really wanted to fix these stabilizers and so i went ahead and popped out specifically spacebar stabilizer now this one, I decided to just completely take apart. I washed everything, uh, I rinsed it in alcohol so that the, the lubrication would fall off. And I decided to completely re-lube it. And I was using the Crytox 205 Grade Zero. And I also decided to do the Holy Mod on the stabilizers. I realized that these stabilizers in general are just really, really rattly. And the Holy Mod kind of helps to, to kind of fix that. This is the, actually the first stabilizers I've ever done the Holy Mod on. And uh, I think I did a pretty good job. I, uh, it came out pretty good. So after doing the Holy Mod, I also decided to add in some stabilizer tape on the bottom to kind of help prevent any of that movement. Added some gaskets for the screws. And uh, yeah, just really wanted to make sure this was super, super stable. So after snapping everything back in, putting the new switches in, putting the keyboard back together. And here's the one thing that kind of really impressed me about Keychron is that this is a budget keyboard and these are not plate mounted stabilizers. This is a PCB mounted stabilizer, which I actually thought was really, really cool and was honestly a big reason why I was able to modify that. And I, you know, and that's the one thing I do really, really like about Keychron. So after putting everything back together, let's just see how this one sounds.
and yeah, the uh, the stabilizer mods that I did for the spacebar, it sounds a hundred times better. Um, I think the Gatoron switches are a bit quiet. They're, they're definitely a lot more silent than the Keychron Bananas. But I think it's a pretty nice typing experience. Um, granted, this is a case-mounted keyboard, and so, you know, it's pretty stiff. There's really not too much flex in it, so... You know, you're not going to get that nice bouncy feeling as you would from a gasket mounted keyboard. But I mean, again, this is budget. Most budget keyboards are case mounted. And uh, yeah, this just sounds a lot better. The stabilizer sound a lot better. I'm actually really proud of it. The holy mod honestly is it, it almost seems required for Keychron. So if you are going to build out a Keychron keyboard, keep in mind, you're probably going to need to do the holy mod. Uh, I, I do have a Q, a Q1. Uh, Q1 myself, Q1 Pro, and to be perfectly honest, yeah, spacebar still really rattly. So I might have to modify that one as well. But yeah, so we're just gonna move on to the new fee. And the new fee, this one, you can definitely tell the new fee keyboard is more about just getting people in the hobby of keyboards and with the focus on switches and keycaps, right? Taking apart the new fee keyboard is a lot more of a pain. There's a lot of screws you have to kind of unscrew from the board, which means removing the keycaps and potentially even the switches first. And then you have to pry it apart using like a pick tool or something like that. And and that's definitely something that's a little bit more, not, not quite as nice. The upside to this is that the new fee can actually be top mounted, which is pretty different, especially considering it's a budget keyboard. So. All I did was basically put everything back together and I, the only screw I added in was the one near the space bar. That's to just give it a little bit more stability. Now we don't have to do anything with the stabilizers here as the stabilizers are pretty solid from the factory. And this is one thing I really, really give Nufi credit on. Whoever tuned their stabilizers did a fantastic job. And I think it, it really, really makes a difference here with that sound experience. You know, the big focus on sound, the Keychron stock doesn't sound good. It, it kind of makes people wonder like, why do people like the sound of these so much? The new fee on the other hand, sounds great. So yeah, since we're not switching out the switches, we're just putting on the keycaps and uh, let's see what this one sounds like. So yeah, sound profile just slightly different because of these uh, thicker keycaps. I think these are the MOA profile keycaps and I actually personally really, really like them. I, I think they feel really nice to type on. And now that this keyboard is top mounted, there's a little bit of flex comparatively to before and I feel it added to the typing experience a little bit. Of course, spacebar sounds great. And again, this is probably one of the best parts about a Nufi keyboard is the you know, the, the tuning of the stabilizers is just absolutely perfect. And I think it, it's just so good. And uh, yeah, so these keycaps don't really have any sort of shine through capability. Now the new feed does have north facing LEDs. So that's going to be a little bit, is it'll be a little bit different, especially if you tried to use the side print keycaps from the Keychron onto this, you know, you might not as get, get as good shine through. And I think that's really where the Keychron benefits is with those south facing LEDs. And yeah, so that's basically it for this video. Um, I personally, at, you know, at the end of the day, I personally think the Nufi is probably the better keyboard if you're really getting into this hobby. It's, you're gonna get some more high quality switches, especially with the Switch Tester. It really kind of enforces the idea of purchasing a different Switch set and then putting them into the keyboard. Taking out switches on the on the new fee is super super easy. You know, just everything's just really really nice and easy about it. And they, I think, the company really just wants you to get the hang of just different switches, change how the keyboard feels, different keycaps, change how it looks, and then later on you can get into the nitty gritty of the mods. With the Keychron, it's definitely a lot more mod heavy. But I feel like for beginners, most people it, it kind of gets 
overwhelming to be perfectly honest when you're a beginner there's so many mods to do right there's stabilizer mods there's case mods there's foam mods there's there's pcb mods there's plate mods there's i mean there's so much and while the keychron lends itself easier to those things based on its design i think for a beginner it's it's probably not something that you're going to want to focus on but because of that things like the stabilizers not being tuned very well is going to maybe dissuade some people from the audio portion of mechanical keyboards and custom keyboards right they may they may not think it sounds good because it's really clacky it's really rattly and you know it honestly sounds sounds like a razor keyboard at that point which you know those don't really sound that good especially not after getting into this hobby for me personally yeah new fee all the way i think it's a fantastic keyboard if you're new to this hobby definitely pick one up i think you, you you won't be disappointed you have so many different options for switches and then it's pretty standard uh keycaps so it's it's just a really really good beginner's keyboard so i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys enjoyed these two builds and this comparison and uh yeah we'll see you guys on the next video